How you doing Duff here? And I'm about to do something that I really hoped I didn't have to do with my brand new wheel. And that is take the side cover off. As you can guess, this is related to my battery problem. I uh, contacted Jason at eWheels and he asked if I could take the side cover off, disconnect one of the battery packs and see if it charges any differently. If I get to the full 84 volt voltage or not. And uh, based on that, um, it will kind of tell us uh, if the pack is faulty or not, which uh, I already kind of assume it is. So let me, I'm gonna have to pe carefully peel back these um, pads, both the top pad and the bottom one down here to get to a couple screws, so let me do that. Of course this isn't going to stick well after I'm done here, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah there's no way that's going to stick. Alright, so we got three screws there, and then I got this little bottom piece here. Okay, these these lights need to come out. Alright, you just have to be a little forceful. Alexa. Play notifications. One new notification. From Amazon Shopping. Cynthia's shipment. Ordered on Friday, August 3rd, 2018 has arrived. Okay. Just can these out of the way. Okay, so now we just have a whole bunch of uh, screws. Alright, to save time, I'm using my, my screwdriver. Just in case the screws are different. My power screwdriver. Just in case the screws are different, I'm going to kind of just keep them grouped together. But I guess I won't be riding the 18L much, because if it does turn out that the bat screwed, I don't know that I'm... Well, I guess I could put it back together. But this is frustrating. You know, something like this you, you would uh, think would be caught at the factory. Of course, when putting these screws back in, you have to be much more careful so you don't strip them. Alright. And there's just three screws in here. All right, it should just lift off. All right, there we go. If you ever wonder what the inside of a King Kong 18L looks like, now you know. Okay, batteries. Jason asked me to. Disconnect one of the batteries and then the other. Definitely not happy that I'm ripping into my brand new wheel like this. Um, okay, disconnecting this side and then um, we're plugging it in. And we're going to see if any more charging occurs. Helps if you don't try to plug into the USB side. All right, so um, I have a red light because I did you know, ride this around this morning somewhat. So we're going to let this charge uh, right now and see if the voltage uh, is any higher when it's done. All right, I figured I might as well take the other side off anyways because I think either way I'm going to wind up doing it. So and to, to test the battery on the other side, I need to do this. So I'm trying to learning from my first side. I'm, I just peeled back the pads enough to get access to the screw holes so I don't have to totally rip them off. So I guess that would be a better plan of action. Pop these out. Alright, so anyways, I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna take this side off. Uh, the batteries are on either side of this and then the system board actually sits on, on the top, so fun fun. All right, so um, I had this charging while I was out to dinner, and we have a green light. 
Again, it's just one of the packs that's hooked up right now, so let's see. Let's see what it thinks the uh, the battery level is. All right, so cell voltage. 84.2 volts. All right, so that means that the cell on the right side, this one, this one is not connected. So this one is the one with the bad cells. All right, so I guess we will act on that. All right, here we are the next day and I uh, had an interesting development last night. I don't remember if I said this on video or not, because I, I got done doing my my stream with Marty. And um, what I did was, I you know, I originally disconnected one battery, connected the other one, charged it, and it went to 100%. So my initial assumption was, okay, well the other battery pack obviously is bad, and is the thing that's pulling down the overall voltage. But just for the heck of it, I disconnected the uh, the one I had connected and flipped it, charge the other one, lo and behold, that thing charged to full as well. It charged to 84 volts. So, at this point I have it, I have both connected, I have both batteries connected, and I'm still showing, well I show 82.1 volt, 82 volts, it was, you know, sitting all day. 82.1 volts, um, and uh, let's see, what's it show, I think 95% battery, so, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird that charging each side independently allowed me to charge them fully, but when they were both connected previously, I was not able to charge them both fully. So I uh, talked to Jason at E-Wheels, and um, our current game plan is for me to reassemble the wheel, uh, ride it to drain the battery some, and then then try another charge, a conventional charge, and see what happens. So that's the next step, but of course I have to put it back together in order to do that, so that's what we're doing now. So I'm just double checking that I have all the wires connected that are supposed to put the nice uh, foam back in place that's used to hold wires down. As I've said multiple times, I'm very impressed with the fit and finish of the... Um... So let's get the correct side here. Alright, so um, I'll cover what I'm doing on, on the one side, but it'll be identical on the other. Basically I just have to fish the the connectors through that are used for the lights. So I didn't expect to get all this experience uh, ripping my King Song wheel apart, but I guess maybe in the long run it'll help me. But you know, if it's as reliable as King Song wheels are supposed to be, um, hopefully I won't have to be doing this very often. I, I told Marty about this whole scenario last night in the stream. He found it very odd about the whole uh, being able to charge one side independently, but when together they, they did not seem to want to charge right, so... I'm hoping uh, I get this all back together and everything's fine, it charges normally, and that's that's the end of it. Although the skeptic in me, uh, I'm not quite sure that's what's going to happen. Ah, uh, damn it. Alright, I gotta... I gotta... Put these pedals down before I fish it through. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay, first get get the bottom seated near the pedal before you fish these connectors through. Yeah, I think I technically had it on. Okay, so much like the new Gotway wheels, these are all threaded inserts. You know, they, they learned something. Now you may remember when I took it apart I used the power screwdriver, but to put these screws back in I am not going to do that. They don't want to over tighten and strip anything. I just don't feel like they're catching. All right. So I'm going to see if I can get like one on the side, these two in the bottom, just to kind of hold it in place and then go from there. Okay, I got that. I got this one in. You have to kind of press down on the case as you're doing this, I've noticed. I'm making them tight, but I'm not going crazy. Alright, so that goes in. And all these screws, by the way, uh, appear to be identical. 
all the screws that you're taking out of the case for the sides, so you don't really have to worry about separating them. Get one in over here yet. It's a, it's a fix them kind of Monday, Monday. I was just out replacing the main drive belt on my tractor. So, if I do that and get this accomplished the same night, that'll be exciting. Alright, so I got screws in here and here. I just I want to get one of these top ones to, to seat, and they don't feel like they're seated yet. Alright, so I got, I got them started on all the corners. Now I'm just going to uh, fill in the ones I'm missing and repeat on the other side. Um, Alright, let me get these in and then I'll just I'll show you snapping the lights back in. Okay, I have all these screws in, so now we're going to work on getting the strips back in. So I'm going to plug it in. It should be it's keyed. You can do it. Okay, yeah. All right, it is keyed. I'm gonna tuck in there, and then these just kind of snapped in. There's little tabs along the side there. You get that edge started first. Snap it in. Same thing over here. Get those outside tabs lock. Lock or lined up first. So you don't, don't have wire sticking out like a dummy. Okay, then so let me just turn it back on again for a second and see that we got lights. We did. And um, I actually, like before when I was doing my charging, this, this um, top LED was not lit up when it was only charging 76%, so I do have a visual indication that it's a full charge now as well, so that's nice. Okay, so this side's on. So we're just going to reverse it for the other side. Um, I guess i got to see how ugly this is now. Maybe I can get Jason to give me some new pads. Whenever this is sorted out, because I'm sure that's never going to stick the same. Oh, wow. That's like, what the hell? That's not going to end up at all. one just sticks in there. Okay. All right, other side. Hey, if anyone knows where the fuse is located in the 18L, I'd, I'd like to know. Um, on the stream last night, Marty mentioned that he thought that it was with the newer Gotways, or I'm sorry, with the, that's blasphemy, with the newer King songs that the location of the fuse was external and easy to reach. Um, and I thought I saw a diagram online somewhere that showed it was with the USB ports here. Oh, that's the charge ports. But um, I don't see it. Unless I'm blind, I do not see any sort of fuse holder externally on this thing. So if someone knows the answer to that, I would, uh, I'd like to know. Uh, just, just in case. Alright, back to assembly. Definitely is a better plan to just peel back the pads just to expose the um, the screws, and you'll do less damage to them. So if you just pull this this edge up and you pull this bottom edge up here, um, you should be able to reuse the pads without a problem. So give that a shot if you are tasked with doing this as well at some point. Step 
from here it will be like I said writing it and uh, writing and recharging and see what happens so I'm not gonna have time to do that tonight but um, uh, possibly tomorrow I'll put a couple miles on it a few miles on it and see if we can uh, find out if it's fixed or not certainly hope it is so hopefully you found this video interesting if you did please give this video a big thumbs up if this is your first time on, on the channel please consider subscribing Click on the button there or there, wherever it is. And uh, yeah, feel free to leave your comments and suggestions below. Like I said, I am very interested in finding out where the fuse location is in this. Because it, uh, unless, unless I'm blind, I do not see it externally. So I would like to know where that is. Uh, but that's all I got for you for now. Thanks for uh, stopping in. And until next time.